Hello everyone, it is the good old Mossy Jake bringing you my first thoughts, my first impressions, my first feelings about Echoes of Wisdom. That is right everyone, the game is officially out. It's been out for about 24 hours now, maybe a little less, maybe like oh, 20, oh, maybe like 18 or something. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. I hope you guys are playing it, I hope you guys are enjoying it, I hope... All your dreams have come true with this game, and yeah, I, I've got, I've played a d decent amount of it. I mean, not a whole lot because, you know, I'm a busy guy, but I've really been enjoying it, and I'm going to give you my first thoughts here in this video, so, you know, get your popcorn ready, get your, I, I don't know, uh, 3D glasses, I don't know, just, while you listen to this, what am I saying, bro? I don't, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, welcome all back to the channel. It is the good old Turtwig guy. It, is that like a thing? Am I just like the Turtwig guy now? People keep referring to me as, oh, I remember this guy. Oh, this is the Turtwig guy. It, it just, is that just, I'm just, that's the thing now. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just put that on my tombstone. When they bury me, we'll just say, you know, the Turtwig guy with a little Turtwig emoji under my name or something. I don't even know. Anyways, my first impressions on the game. We're here to talk about Zelda. And guys, I, I, I like to consider myself a pretty big fan of zelda i mean i'm that guy i grew up with it you know I, i'm the type of guy who remembers when impa was young like why is impa always old in these games now you know what i'm saying like i remember impa when she was like a young like just like teenager and anyways anyways if, if you know you know ocarina time was so lit bro anyways let's talk about echoes of wisdom because you know this game was originally, according to the developers, was originally supposed to be a Zelda maker. You know, like a Mario maker. No, this was supposed to be a dungeon maker game. You're like, no, psych! We're gonna make Zelda the main character. You know, apparently the producer of Zelda was, you know, testing out a Zelda maker game. And then he's just like, you know, it's kind of fun just to release all these monsters and, you know, all these things down at random. And then he's like, and then he just got the idea, like, hey, let's do... A Zelda game starring Zelda so it makes me wonder would Zelda be the main character in this game if he hadn't changed it you know what I'm saying like people are finally saying like hey they made a Zelda game they finally listened to us but, but did they you know like they were gonna make it a, a Zelda maker where you'd probably play as Link right but then when they decided oh no we're just gonna have the character put down a bunch of stuff I feel like it makes more sense for Zelda to do that with her magic and not Link. You know what I'm saying? Like, so did they listen to us? Did they not? I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, really was Link supposed to be the main character of this Zelda Maker game? We'll never know. And will we ever get that? I don't know. But it is cool that they're finally talking about a Zelda Maker. And how, how can we complain? We finally got a game with Zelda in it. So anyways... Beginning with the story, I won't really spoil much, re really anything, because I, I haven't really gotten into the game, and, you know, basically the whole beginning is in the trailer. So, this isn't really a spoiler review here, this is just my first impressions. First off, Link, you play as Link at the very beginning. I don't know if that's a spoiler for anyone, but that was, like, rumored that, like, you'd play as Link at the very beginning, and then, you know... You'd walk in with your sword and you just you swipe it away and stuff. But then it got revealed that Zelda would get a sword and we were thinking, oh, maybe that's what we just saw. No, 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 no. You actually get to play as Link at the very beginning, you know, kind of like a Tears of the Kingdom vibe at the very beginning where he has all his hearts. He's got, you know, fully maxed out master sword or I don't even know, bro. He walks in and basically you fight Pig Ganon, good old Pig Ganon. Anyone remember that? Just... Back before Ganon was, like, you know, sexy. I don't know, you know what I'm saying, bro. Anyways, after you defeat Pig Ganon, you save Zelda, just like in the trailer. She pops out, yada, yada, yada. And then she goes to her castle, to Hyrule Castle, where she meets up with the king. And, you know, they talk about, oh, Zelda, you've, you've made it. It's so, I'm so happy to see you. And then a riff appears in the castle and sucks up the king spits him back out as like an evil 
sorcerer. And then the king says to the guards, lock up Zelda. She's, you know, we're, we're going to execute her. It's actually kind of dark. They're like, yeah, behead, behead the princess Zelda. And she's like, dad, why would you do this to me? You know, something like that. You know, I, I don't even know, bro. But anyways, they, they lock her up and, you know, the guards are kind of confused. Like, why would the king do this? Why would, if, if he's telling the truth, then why would Zelda do such a thing? But, you know, whatever. Tri shows up and, you know, you start making echoes, and then you escape, and uh, then from there, you kind of head towards your first dungeon, which is in the Rifts, which was rumored, and I think that's actually really cool. I think that's unique. It kind of takes you away from, like, the open world map and puts you in a more linear, which I think is really smart because there's a lot of people who want just the traditional Zelda, and there's a lot of people who just want the open world. This kind of gives you both, which I love. That's amazing. It's fantastic, honestly. Something I did find super cool is that people know Link, but Zelda doesn't know Link. You know, in the other games, Zelda and Link are, like, usually pretty, like, tight. You know, in some of the games, they don't know each other. But in this one, it seems like everyone knows who Link is, at least in the villages. But in the castle, no one knows who he is. So I'm interested to see if they're going to go more into that story on why that is or whatever. They probably will. Hopefully. But I just thought that was really cool. And the map is way bigger this time. Apparently, it's eight times bigger than the Link's Awakening map, which is mind-boggling to me. I, I think that's actually kind of crazy. It, might, it, might, it kind of feels like it might be a little too big, you know, for a more simpler 2D Zelda game. But I don't know. Well, I, I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll end up really loving it. But you want to know who the real villain in this game is, bro. You want to know who the real villain in this story is. No, it's, it's not Ganon. It's not Ganon, bro. It's not these rifts that are popping up. It's the freaking scrolling you have to do to select all your echoes. And I, I only have like what, like like 10 right now? 20 maybe at most. And it was like, what do you want? <laughs> like, like there's like over a hundred echoes and I have to scroll through all of these? You're kidding. It's a joke. It's all a joke, bro. I don't like it. I I I really feel like there's a better way to do this. Like, can't we just have like rows or something? Like not just one long row, but like can't we just have like columns and rows and just like, why does it have to be one long thing you have to scroll through? I feel like it'd take faster if there were like categories or just like rows and columns. And I, I don't know. What do you guys think of it? Let me know down below in the comments. Something I am worried about for, you know, playing the game a little bit more is it's the fighting. Because, you know, Zelda, you know, in order for her to fight, she has to release echoes on her enemies which is really cool or she has to get the sword ability which is awesome you can kind of turn into link and stuff but like i, I don't know there's, there's sometimes i'm thinking i'm like wow i just really wish i could just walk up and smack this thing you know i don't know if it's going to be overwhelming because they did put that sword ability in but you could only get that sometimes you know and i it, it has gotten a little annoying sometimes where i'm like i really wish i could just smack the thing and move on you know no i have to release all these echoes have to scroll through and decide which enemy to place on this enemy i don't know it's not it's not a big deal i actually have been really enjoying the game but yeah that's like really all my thoughts a lot of people have been complaining about the frame rate because apparently it's you know you know i'm not really huge on frame rate i'm not i'm not, i i i like, you know, as long as it's, like, fine enough, I, I don't really complain. I don't know if I've ever complained about frame rate in a game. I'm not really big on it. But a lot of people have been complaining. Sometimes it's 30 frames per second, and other times it's 60 frames per second. And other times it seems to, like, switch back and forth really fast. And so that kind of could give me, like, a headache and maybe, like, really annoying. You know, you might as well just do the 30 frames per second if you can't always do the 60 frames. I don't know. It just depends on what area you're in. Is this something that's really going to bother you? Let me know down below in the comments, and I'll do a full review on this game once I am done with it. But thank you all so much for joining. Really appreciate you. And, and yeah, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.